everybody. Hi. Guess who's with me today? I'm here. Well, for those who don't know who I am, I'm Josie, the owner of Pink Pixie. This is Zanaya for Zen Art. Zen Art, right? Zanaya and I are here to um, tell you and show you all about Zen Art mermaid paint and mermaid brushes today, right? Yep, because they just got released. They just got released today, and we want to thank all of you so far for the tremendous support. I mean, it's, and there's also, I don't know if you see the Lesra down there, but he's painting with us as well. He wanted to be part of it because he's part of the family. And go back on my post and you'll see all my grandchildren and great-grandchildren are represented in this beautiful label. And Ezra is the one right up here by the number six. And by the jellyfish. Anyway, by the jellyfish. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. Real quick, Zanaya, I'm going to talk about how you can get these super duper cute downloads that uh, her mother, my daughter Mio, will be seeing more of her in the future. Mio a, is a fantastic artist. So I asked her, as a since we're a family business and we're creating Zen art together for Zanaya, I asked her to create some downloads. So this is what we decided. My graphic designer, Danette O'Neill from the Birdcage Furniture, if you, once you purchase your watercolor, your mermaid paints, right, they're watercolors, or your mermaid brushes, there is a QR code on the back. What you're going to do is either with your QR reader, you're going to read that code or open your camera icon on, hover over it, and there's an, a link that will pop when you um, tap on it. You will have availability to a secret paint. Yes, secret, I say, because only those of you who own Zenner products can access these downloads. So we're pretty excited about that. It's kind of a free, a little freebie for you. So with that said, and they're fun little, and they're fun. Things. Every month they will change, but every month you'll be able to go back and reprint. I'll just add to them. So with that said, Zanaya, what did you pick? I picked this under the sea thing with that's really like the sand and a little clam. All right, seaweed. You know, it's fun, right? And I picked. The crab. So for this month, you're actually going to get both of these. I thought it might be kind of fun if you have the um, background. I call this the background. That way you can add your own sea creatures and sea life to the background. All right. And you can print these on regular um, inkjet copy paper. Nothing fancy. Or you can get cardstock if you want something a little fancier. Or you can do what I did and trim up your watercolor paper because I didn't about just printing them on each jet. But anyway, so here we go. These are 16 of the colors. All 16. There are, and we did uh, realize that there are a few variations in the palettes. So um, slight variations are all beautiful colors. So this is my palette that we're using today, right? Yeah, we're These sharing. are the six mermaid brushes you are going to get. <laughs> They're in size order. They are. Right, and what it is, is you're going to fill the chamber with water. So just to show you real quick, you're going to, and it tells you how on the label, you're going to unscrew it, stick it under the tap, ah, screw it back on. Oh, but it screws the opposite direction yeah. from America. Yeah, it screws opposite Then, you're going to squeeze the water out of this. Hopefully you can see me in I'm using the big brush. I'm going to start with the sand color under my my crab. So I've got a drip of water, and then I'm just going to work it a little bit. I'm using this gold color because to me that kind of reminds me of the color of sand. Yes. So Zanaya and I are just going to share this palette. I'm the sharing kind of person. And here we go. If you feel you want. To activate your paint a little bit more, just drip water right on your on your um, like your canvas, your paper, whatever you're doing. I have been watching so many videos on how to use these watercolors. I have seen artists, which I think is kind of cool. You can pre-moisten 
your colors, if you just spritz, and we're talking a, mi a fine mist of water on the whole palette, and then it already starts to activate the paint, and you can probably hey, move on. Hey, I'm going to tell you, when, yes. when then you are about to say, make sure you like and subscribe, that's what all videos do you want to do. Make sure what? To, to like and subscribe. Oh, yes! Yes, we'll have to post this on YouTube, right? I need my five-year-old grandson, Ezra, to tell me, see, I need this stuff. Thank you, Ezra. And I think I'm going to switch to another color real quick. Look at him. Isn't he doing a great job? Yay, I love it, Ezra. You are doing great. And Facebook Live. <laughs> That's right. So, actually, this is such a light color. There's really no residue on my brush. Let me move to um, a different color so I can show you how to clean these a little better. I'm going to actually use my medium flat. So you can see they're flat brushes, three flats, and three pointed ones. So I'm going to use, I'm going to change, I'm going to change up a little bit. I'm going to go to blue because I'm going to do my blue back. Hey, I'm doing blue too. Are you? Yes. I'm going to do oh, the clam. I'm going to do this little, this little clam right here. Whoops, I put a lot of water in that one. Another thing you can do if you want to mix color is bring some color over, right, over here? Yeah, but what I do is I drip a little water in here first. Yeah. And then I get the color in here. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's probably the way and it should have been done. I'm telling you, I'm just laying I think today's Monday right now. Oh, right. I'm going to get that. That has me Monday. So I'm going to go ahead so, and, and I'm going to use the white to make a gray so that I can do something. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of pink. Oh, that'll be pretty. Black, black. No, but I'm going to use the black. So what I'm doing is I just kind of want to get my my blue in there. So I'm doing the plain next. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put blue even over the crap because it's going to look really pretty when I put my um, color on the crab. Yes. And I'm, acti I'm reactivating my paint. Because you know with uh, paper, paint tends to want to absorb into the paper. So mm -hmm. I can reactivate mine by just dripping more water onto the paper itself. So I think it's looking good Oh, look so how far. pretty. Zania. Thank you. I, I actually did pretty good at this thing. I did. I thought it was just going to make a really weird shade of purple. <laughs> yeah, and the reason I, I want to do this, I want to show real quick how you can clean your brush without needing a cup of water. It eliminates that. The mess. <laughs> so what I can do if I'm going to use the same brush is I just let some water drip out and I go back and forth on my paper towel and my brush is clean. So now the next color I want to use, I think I'm going to go with red. I'm, I'm doing red yellow. also. Are you doing red also? Yes. I'm going to go with red and it kind of makes a purple crab, but you know what? I'm the artist, so I can do whatever I want, right? Yeah. So if I want a purple crab, no I have a wrong answer. No wrong answer. When it comes to art. When it comes to art, you're right. I have one like question. Mathematics and most uh, I have a question. Well, let's see if we have an answer. Maybe someone in the audience has an answer. But I don't know the history of paint. Can someone tell me? The what? I don't know the history of paint. Can you tell me? The history of paint. Oh, oh my gosh. Really the whole history. history. <laughs> this so, uh, thank you, so, so, in the ancient BC times, like around the um, Homo habilis, I'm pretty sure, they found a way to. <laughs> history. <laughs> They found a way to uh, mix like a type of dirt and water to make a pigment, and you know. You're exactly right. That's cool. exactly what I learned in art history, is colors are made, the true pigments actually come from the earth, and... What is a pigment? It's a pig like color. Is, is a color, and... The purest ones are and primary did you know colors, Pink right? Man yep. Was actually Red, named blue. something yeah. in Minecraft. Not no, I didn't know that. Because it's like it, it's just a pig made from a man, and then the man makes us the pig. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Did not know that. <laughs> so I'm mixing.
some orange in with my red, just to add a little variation. Oh, I'm working on the seaweed. You know, the little seaweeds that come down. But yeah, so we we're talking about pure color, right? Yeah. So if you look at a color wheel, red, yellow, blue are the primaries. And when you start mi mixing like red, like I just did, right? The red and the blue, I, I didn't really mix it, but I layered it, or you can mix them and you end up with purple. Um, yellow and blue, you can make your own green. Now, you could do all that, except why? Why would you need to when you already have a palette full of paint colors, right? Be because you can make better colors. Right. So I'm, I'm not saying, saying that these colors are bad. <laughs> They're great colors. What did you great say? Colors. And what did you say? If you let your I paint colors dry, I, I'm being, you know, we're kind of, I'm rushing my my along. Well, yeah. it's you. It's me, right? Ezra, Ezra, Ezra. I like that. There we go. Me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go orange under here now. It's you. Ezra, please stop. We're doing something for social me. media. Please oh, stop. Okay. okay. I know they say um, with watercolors you have to layer, but I'm kind of anxious to see if I can just highlight a little bit with the white. Mine's already done. I don't know. I Maybe have, you'd have to let it dry first. Probably. Yeah. I'm impatient. <laughs> okay. Stay here. I think I get it from you. <laughs> you probably do. Okay, that thing, you're right. You probably have to dry and then you have to really layer it up to get the white. Like you so, say, there's this cool effect with watercolor you can get with salt, where if you put the salt on wet water, sea salt, on wet watercolor, uh, it'll, like, the watercolor yeah, basically, like, repel the salt. Oh, really? And then it'll I be like a cool galaxy. Hold on, Ezra. A cool galaxy effect. You know, I think you need to keep that in mind, because um, something I forget to tell, forget to tell our audience, twice a month, Zania will be making some little short videos, right? That's her job. I'm and that could be a really cool video to show Zania. Oh, really? Right? Because I know we can't ask you to make these big old long videos. You've got school to think about, I right? Thought you yes, say. I thought And she's in Taekwondo and guitar lessons. And what else do you do that I don't even know of? Busy she watches school. Arrested Development in the <laughs> office. She does, school. <laughs> she does school. Yep. So what do we name our crab, Ezra? Probably I mean, Gary. Gary. Let's name it Mr. Gare Gare. Mr. Gare Gare? Mr. Yes. Gare like okay. Gary. Okay, I'm going to see if I can. Now, Mio, my daughter, is the one that has the pretty handwriting. Maybe we should ask her to do this. Uh, what the heck? Why is that you there? Need, okay. I'm going to step out of the way here. Can you write his name, Leo, with your cute little handwriting? Hold on, let me. Let me <laughs> okay. Sorry, I put her on the spot, everyone. <laughs> well, that way we can time lapse it. Oh. I think this. Okay. I think so. My friend Janice Hafney, or maybe it's your friend, says hi, Ezra. Do you know her? So here we go, the lettering. These brushes are amazing for lettering. The smaller, the, rounder. Right, the pointy-tipped ones. So what's his name? Miss Gare -Gare. Mr. Gare -Gare. Mr. Gare -Gare. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Gare -Gare. Gary Gare. But if I did, but if I want to name it, I can just name it Mitt Gary. <laughs> so pick a name. I'll say Mitten. I'll say Mitten. is Mitten. I say Hello, Amy Chazé. How are you? I don't know if you know this, but your Delilah's art, uh, mermaid art paint, excuse me, mermaid paint brushes got sent back because I didn't give Amanda the right address, but she sent them back to you. So hopefully any day, Delilah will get her set. And, and there's something I got to say. What? Say I it. Mean, What's that song that Sarah Bareilles sings? I'm gonna name the crabs. 
say what you gotta say? I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> Oh, Zaniah, that is beautiful. I love that soft background. That's amazing. I love it. So, Zaniah, can you write like your mom? No. I can't either, but I aspire to someday. <laughs> oh, I love. I mean, doesn't doesn't Mio make it look so easy? I'm all nervous. You make it look so easy. Sorry, Amy, that your little box didn't have the pretty writing on it. I should have come here. I made Amy a box Aww. for um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, awesome. and um, I put a little, um, like a poem that I, it's not really a poem, kind of like a saying that I found online that I thought really um, fit Amy, but I don't have that pretty writing like you do. And then I had to, you made me do it over and over again. is that why? Because I made you do it over and over again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gosh. running around in circles like I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> you getting dizzy there? Yes. Hey, Beautiful. <laughs> Your lunch was probably ready a half hour ago. We forgot to feed them. Don't tell anybody. Shh. Okay. They might call social services. All right. so, These kids do not starve. Okay. You have to show it. I know this is a video or not. Yay! Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Mio. No, Gary's the official dinner crowd. He's the official dinner crowd. Yep. No, Zanaya, are you done? Yes. All right. No, maybe like once it's fully dry, I'll add. Okay. Want to come say goodbye to everybody? Yes, right? His name is Among Us. And make sure it's Ezra. Oh, yeah, let's show us. Can you show Ezra? This is Ezra. He said, guys. Isn't that amazing? Ezra said that it's a turtle that's supposed to look like a dragon. He did a great job in color oh. mixing, didn't he? I love it. It looks very purple. I want to just thank all of you so much. Thank you for, oh uh, gosh. This is Make so sure to like and subscribe and check the link of the, the video. <laughs> thank you for supporting us, supporting our family, supporting our business. Most of all, this young lady right here, she has my heart. And she's... We, she's Make sure to like things, and subscribe. And hopefully, continue on with Pink Pixie as she gets Make older. Make sure to like right? and subscribe. All right, so everybody, grab yourself a set of mermaid brushes, mermaid paint, and let's all paint something beautiful together. What do you think? Amazing. Yes. Okay. And Goodbye, you can everyone. Create, Thank you. you. you can Love you. You can and make, make sure to like Gary. And make sure to like and subscribe create and check the link. Gary. Okay, like and subscribe and check the link, Ezra says. <laughs> what link, what subscribe, we'll figure that out. <laughs>